our loving parents. So my dad, my dad is uh, the sole breadwinner of the of the family, and he worked hard to bring home the money required for us to live a comfortable life. He always made sure that we did not like anything, and he always made sure that we had everything that we wanted, not needed, wanted. He is also someone knowledgeable, and if ever that I require any help in solving my problems, he is definitely one to come up with a solution. Although not every time I will take it up. My mom is someone who is uh, very strong. And one, one thing, interesting thing about her is that she flew a plane before when she was younger by herself, solo flight. And uh, not many people I know can do that. And I think that shows her character and that shows how, how strong she is and how she brings that strength into bringing up her children. At home she leads a team of one, which is the maid, and she helps to clean the house she tells the helper what to do and when the helper goes back and does not wish to return she will take up the, the chores to clean the house and to this I am very grateful I would also like to say something about my father-in-law and my mother-in-law um, my father-in-law is someone who is really gentle. If you speak to him, he would really say that he's a gentleman. And I think that that's where Eugene got his gentle and quiet spirit. Yes, and so thank you because um, you really brought him up in a really good manner. And um, for my mother-in-law, um, what Eugene shared was really true. She's a really strong woman and sometimes I even tell her that with her around there are no problems and um, so I'm really grateful for both of them. Thank you. My grandparents, I think it's wonderful to have you here. Uh, my grandparents are, are people who really love us, their grandchildren and well, every time when I, I visit them, uh, and Louisa doesn't come. They would always ask where's Louisa and, and how is she. And to that, we are, we are very blessed to have grandparents who look after us. I'd like to also uh, thank my father, my dad over there. Um, another person who is really gentle is my dad too. Seems like the men are all gentle. <laughs> and uh, he's a man of few words, but he's an uh, he's a person who is um, really honest, um, really uh, someone who looks out for everyone and cares a lot for others. And he's really an example to all of us of what it means to be a person who is a true friend, a true and honest friend. And that's something that I really admire about him. And um, the other person I'd like to thank is my mom. I think all mothers go to the same school. So she's also a very strong woman. And whenever I want anything or I want anything to be done, she would go an extra mile to be to do it. Yes. And uh, sometimes I when I get into fights with her, she will always say, next time when you're a mother you will know. So I really do think that all mothers go to the same school. And I'm really thankful for her. Thank you. My new parents-in-law. Well, my father-in-law is someone who, as Louisa said, is very gentle. But he's also someone who takes care of all the, the work in the house, the repair jobs, the painting jobs. And I see that he really provides and he looks after the house so that his children are able to live in it. And this is, this is something which I appreciate about him. My mother-in-law is someone who makes sure that, <laughs> that uh, <laughs> the children are well fed. Every time I see her, she says she's very busy. So I saw what she's busy with. She says she's busy buying food, buying groceries, so that her children can eat. And she has extended that love to me too. And to that, I am very thankful for. The next person I'd like to, as 
special thing is my grandmother, Ama. Ama! She's a really, really capable woman. And she's a mother of 10, 11 children. So many, I can't even remember. <laughs> yes, and she's so capable, and all of us are really, truly grateful to her. And because of the manner in which she brought up her children, um, her, even her grandchildren have benefited much from it. So thank you very much. I'm not a For the next group of friends that we would like to especially thank our Akumal Church. And Louise and I have been in Bethany for a number of years now. And we have come across and met with different people in church. Some quite high standing in, in life, some very humble in life. But there's only one there's, there's one thing that, that, that is consistent throughout. It is their love for each other. They have shown this love to us too. When we went to our wedding, they were there to look after the details in our wedding from the pastors. The pastors are a group of extraordinary men. They are very busy, but yet they take time to relate to us individually and as a couple. To the friends and to the uncles and aunties, they too helped to make the wedding special to us and to know that Bethany is really a place where people care for people and that's something which we would like to thank God for. Our wedding and Torach, you are close friends. You've been with us for many, many years. And we just want to thank you for your support given to us these past three days. Last but not least, well, not last, but most importantly, I would like to thank my wife, Louisa. I always call her Louisa, and she doesn't like it. So I shall start to call her Louisa from now on. <laughs> She's someone whom I really thank the Lord for, for bringing us together, because she is someone who really works hard in the relationship. Whenever we disagree, she will always make sure that we are reconciled at the end of the day. And she wants to, and I think that's very important going into marriage. And so, I really thank the Lord for, for allowing us really this privilege to be to be married. Last but not least, I would like to thank all of you for coming here this day, this night, to setting aside precious time on your Sunday to be with us despite working tomorrow. And we hope that this, this night has been wonderful for you as it has been for us. And we pray, Lord, that the Lord will bless each one. May you enjoy the rest of the night.